This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. Nathan, you are the longest serving player to have played without playing a final. How does it feel to be breaking that duck week this weekend? Yeah, really good. It's um, been a long time coming, so probably 10 years, I think. So it'll be nice to get rid of that, uh, that status as the longest serving player without a final. Your, uh, your form recently has been really, really good. How, what have you put that down to? Uh, I think I'll probably start this season off a little bit slow, but um, just consistency with training and in the weights room and, and those sort of things has just allowed me to get stronger over the course of the year, and I think that's sort of come out on game day. What, what, what did you put down to being dropped in round two? What wasn't really working for you? Uh, look, I was, I was probably getting enough of the ball. I just wasn't having a big, big enough impact. I was more just accumulating touches and um, yeah, not having much of an influence on the game. So went back to the VFL for um, probably a month in the end and uh, tried to rectify that. What was the turning point for you? Obviously on the training track, did it help to put in some strong performances out there? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, you know, during that time, Worked closely with Tim Clark, our, our VFL coach, and uh, it was just a huge emphasis on train well and play well and um, control those things. A lot of the players have talked so far about a time where you all made each other more accountable, which is sort of why you had that turnaround in the middle of the season. How did that sort of affect you? Oh, look, I think it was just good for the whole group. It was, um, I think we were training well at that stage, but it was uh, important to sort of try and gain an extra 5%, and um, that's sort of what we challenged each other to do. And um, a lot of blokes weren't in great form at that particular time and it also just allowed them to put an emphasis on training on the track rather than game day so it's just good to shift our focus as a group. Playing a couple of games, a couple of good games early when you did come back into the senior side, how much confidence did that give you and how did that affect your form going forward? Oh a huge amount of confidence I think um, yeah there was a couple of games early on when you sort of uh, when I started to probably run and carry a little bit more and, and drive my legs so uh, that sort of helped out enormously. What about Anthony Miles? He's obviously emerged, I think, since round 12. How, what sort of difference has he made to the midfield? A huge difference. He's, um, you know, his contested footy is exceptional. He's, he's incredibly hard at it, um, and he uses the ball really well for an inside mid. He's, he's got a really high disposal efficiency, and um, on top of that, though, he's just a he's a really good bloke to have around the club. Works extremely hard, and um, yeah, he's going to be certainly a good player for a long time. Has it helped you out a fair bit having another contested player in the middle? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, and probably more so Koch and Dusty and, and Lids and these sort of blokes. It's allowed uh, Dusty to spend a bit more time forward and also Lids and we've seen, uh, seen them hit the scoreboard in recent weeks. And onto the game, winning in Port in, at Adelaide Oval a couple of weeks ago, how much confidence does that give you going forward? Oh, it does. I think it's, it's nice to have seen the ground and played on the ground and we sort of know what to expect. So it, uh, it's worked out well to play there a fortnight ago and um, for us it's... You know, it's just another another game. It's it's similar to the last nine. It's just one we've got to win, and hopefully, uh, yeah, keep the keep the wins rolling. Do you revisit the Port Adelaide win back? I think it was about round 13 or 14. Do you talk about that this week? Uh, we may briefly touch on it in um, our opposition analysis, um, or it's more more common that we sort of look at the last uh, month of Port's form, though. So we mightn't touch on it. No. What about this? The final last year. Do you talk about that and the hurt that that obviously generated losing that to Carlton? Uh, I, don't, I don't. It's been mentioned probably earlier in the year. Uh, I don't think we'll bring it up this week. I think it's, um, you know, it's it's a 12 months on, and um, a lot's happened since then. So we'll sort of just focus more on what's working for us now. And the confidence in your body is that fully returned now since your Achilles injury? Yeah, absolutely. It, it took a while. I think I lost a lot of strength in my calf, which we've spoken about before, and also uh, through my legs, just through not being able to do the leg weights and training that I'd liked but um, as time's progressed I've sort of been able to put more and more training and time into into my body which has helped enormously. Was that still affecting you this year at the start of this year? Uh, it may have been possibly I think um, as the years progressed uh, certainly in, in the weights room those sort of you know squats and deadlifts and those sort of things have certainly increased so whether that's had an impact on game day I'm not sure. And after missing out last year I mean how are you feeling about the prospect of playing in a final this week? Yeah really excited it's um it's disappointing to miss out last year, but that's that's footy at times, and it's um, you know it's really exciting to play my first final, and potentially for a lot of blokes, hopefully to win out our first final. So um, yeah, look forward to it. How did you feel? How did you get through that that bad time? Oh look, it's you know it's it's footy's a funny industry. You sort of been in it ten years, you sort of learn to deal with things pretty well in this industry, and um, you just get on with things. So um, yeah, while while it was disappointing, you, you move on. Was it motivating for you over the pre-season? Uh, oh, I'm not. I'm 
generally probably pretty motivated sort of person, so I didn't, you know, need that to spur me on or anything. I sort of just got back to business as per normal. Does it make you want to savour the moments this weekend even more? Uh, oh, just want to win, really. So, so that's, um, yeah, first and foremost. So, um, yeah, so fingers crossed we can uh, get over to Adelaide and have a win. What is the belief like? Do you believe that you, you can beat Port Adelaide and actually progress on? Yeah, certainly. I, I mean, we've won um, nine in a row now, so we'll just keep, uh, you know, keep that mindset going of you know, playing, playing on our terms and playing the footy we want to play. When you started to win all those games back from, I think, round, uh, round what was it, round 14 onwards? No, yeah, round 12 three onwards. Three and 10, yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep. When you started to win all those games, did you let yourself believe that finals were a, a legitimate possibility? Uh, probably not, no, not for a while. Um, people often ask me about it and I sort of mentioned that not too many teams in the past have, have made finals when you're relying on other teams to lose. So um, it probably wasn't only until a, a couple of weeks or three weeks ago that I thought it might be a possibility and it's... Um, yeah, it's been a pretty amazing ride so far, so we'll just stay on that wave as long as possible. A lot of people talk about the importance of winning momentum, and you go, sorry, and you guys are obviously a bit of an example of how significant that is. Yeah, it's just um, like I said earlier, we'll just do things as per normal and and um, try and put our best foot forward. Fantastic, thank you. Thank you.